Good morning. I'm glad that uh, I'm able to uh, get a lot of things done today. As I've said a couple other times, my chore after I finish doing these stories is to go out and do my walk. And uh, it's a nice morning outside, so I'm looking forward to doing the walk. Uh, in the meantime, the story that I wanted to share was about a story that Roy Angel told. He was a, a pa pastor in Atlanta, Georgia, back in the middle of the 20th century. And one day he was invited by another, I think, pastor by the name of Dr. McFarland to come out to his farm where they were going to have a fox hunt. And he took Roy out to the farm, and when they got there, they had a couple of horses all ready to ride. And they got on their horses, and uh, they let uh, they, uh, they let the uh, hounds loose to go find the foxes. And it wasn't very long before they picked up a scent of the old fox, and they started to bray. And as they brayed and they ran, looking, following the scent of the fox, the uh, Dr. McFarland said, uh, Roy, hey, let's go over to where the, where I know the uh, lair of the fox is, and we'll uh, watch to see what happens as the uh, uh, hounds chase the old fox. And so they went over, and it wasn't very long before the old fox showed up. And when he showed up, he stopped, and he laid down outside of his lair, and he lifted an ear, and he listened intently to see what he could hear, and he hear the a hound's braying off in the in the distance, and so the old fox just kind of laid down and rested in the sun and enjoyed the heat of the sun, and he listened as the as the hound's bray became close began to come closer and closer, and then there was a point in that that sound of the bray of the hounds that the old fox jumped up and ran into his lair, and I'm sure when he got inside to his lair he just laid down again and kind of laid back and smiled and enjoyed himself because he knew he was safe. He had a home that was safe and he didn't have to worry about the hounds. And of course the hounds came up and they brayed but they didn't go into the lair because in the lair it was down deep and there were caves all over and they would have got lost in there and the fox would have always been safe. And I think that's a parable for many of our lives. Many of us are being chased by some hound. It may be our failure. It may be our success, actually. It can be any number, our family, our uh, lack of family, our uh, failure, our mistakes, the fact that we're in trouble with authorities. It can be all kinds of things. And we, we, we should know that there's a place that we can be safe, that we can lay down and the hounds of life cannot come get can cannot get to us, and that's what the scripture tells us that if we find God as our haven of rest, as our home, we'll be able to withstand any hounds that bray after us. We don't have to worry about them because we're safe. Wow, isn't that an awesome good idea to know that we're safe? I hope you'll enjoy that as you face your future. God bless you this morning.